How you guys doing? CGF here once again for another Giants video, an important video, a video that could determine the fate of Daniel Jones. <laughs> Don't you guys love Daniel Jones content and videos? I'm sure you've tired enough about the subject, but I wanted to spend a few moments to talk about something that I believe is important, and that is for you. 30% of you who want Daniel Jones as the future quarterback of the New York Giants, he needs to play. I don't know if he's going to be cleared to play this weekend. Right now, the Giants are about a three-point underdog against the Jets, who they host at MetLife Stadium 1 p.m. this Sunday. But if Jones doesn't play, we have a capable replacement in Tyrod Taylor, who for the last two weeks, who's looked look really good. My thoughts, my thoughts on Daniel Jones right now. Daniel Jones needs to get the hell out of his head. He needs to get on the field. He needs to perform. That's his only chance. If he's going to be the future quarterback of the New York Giants, he needs to perform. That's it. He needs to perform. No more excuses. No more excuses about bad offensive lines. No more excuses about injuries, about necks, whatever. You need to get on the field. You need to perform. You need to lead the Giants to victories. Both in regular games, primetime games, whenever, on freaking Christmas Day, you got to find ways to win. And at this point right now, time's running out. It is. Daniel Jones needs to perform. That's it. Stop doing shows with Kay Adams. Get back into 1925 Giants Drive and focus on what is important, and that is winning football games. So what happens if Daniel Jones doesn't play this weekend? Well got Tyrod Taylor, like I said, but if the Giants lose, trade deadline looming next week, I think it's Tuesday, this team could start dismantling. They could start getting rid of guys like Adore Jackson, Leonard Williams, Xavier McKinney, maybe even Saquon Barkley. This team is at a crossroads. It's at a crossroads for the future. Regardless if you're in the pro-Daniel Jones court, the anti-Daniel Jones court, don't give a shit about it either way. This team is at a crossroads. And the future of the Giants will be determined in the upcoming weeks. So the good news is, if you are a Giants fan, the Giants should be able to be competitive the rest of the season. That's if they could stay healthy. Here that Andrew Thomas is coming back. John Michael Schmitz is supposed to be back this weekend. Evan Neal, whatever we get from Evan Neal, he's coming back. The Giants are in a better position. Their defense has been really strong in the last couple of games, last two games in particular. Giants should be better. Question is, will they rise to the occasion? That's all I have for you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Just did a episode with uh, Toilets to Titles podcast with Joe Clark. He's on X Twitter. Great guy. It's going to be coming out tomorrow on Wednesday morning. Hope you guys all take a listen, take a watch. Talked about a couple of these subjects, Daniel Jones, the way the offense has been playing, the defense has been really good, as I just alluded to. So excitement, a lot to talk about, a lot of good content out there. That said, CGF signing off. Please like, share, and subscribe. This week in the NFL coming out tomorrow. NFL picks, finished the week, one game under 500, and Giants Jets preview. So with that said, enjoy your Tuesday night, and I will see you soon.